Welcome to Overtime on Inferno, your weekly roundup of all the biggest stories in CSGO, quicker than the Astralis era has begun again. There's been no reaction. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I try not to interrupt too review. much on the intro. Uh, if you could rate review us by the end of the episode, really help us. I'm Logan. This is Easy Ask. Let's get into it. Um, okay, so let, let's start with the, the obvious. Uh, we're recruiting on Thursday. This may come out today. It may also come out on Friday. Yeah. Uh, we're doing this because um, life got in the way this week. Ellie, would you like to explain where you are? Uh, I'm currently in a hotel in Berlin, um, in, in Germany, for the American listeners. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm in Berlin um, and working at the Dota Major. Um, which obviously is here in Berlin in the Velodrome Arena. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool place. I, I, I basically uh, we have a rehearsal day today. My role doesn't require much rehearsal, so I have a little bit of free time to record. Okay, uh, I've been I've been running replays for uh, for Valorant this last weekend. I'm observing Valorant this coming weekend. In two weekends, I am doing more replays for Valorant. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we couldn't get the time to work yesterday. I've been, I've been working on setting up a bunch of, uh, streaming systems for esports production stuff and you were doing your shit. So Thursday, <laughs> that's where we're yeah. at. I just ate um, some, uh, some fantastic Korean fried chicken as well oh, in Berlin. Yeah. Oh, uh, I have Sweet a really good Korean with, like, fried chicken peanut, oh, So good. We have one around the corner from me, but I like I can't eat it too much because it's right around the corner from me. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be known a as a idea. regular. Yeah, no, I don't think they allow in. I don't think they have like in in store dining yet. Not because of like COVID, just because it just opened up and they're like, oh, we can just start doing takeout, but we can't have people like in here yet. Um, yeah, that's uh, uh, this place did both eat in and takeout, but you couldn't reserve. Um, which obviously, yeah, yeah, okay. given I didn't know when I was going to be free, was perfect because I could just walk in, order some fried chicken, some plum soju. Amazing. Plum soju. I've never, I'm not a big plum guy. I don't know. I'm Which... not really either, but like, it just sounded like a good idea. Okay. That's reasonable. All right. Let's go talk about Counter-Strike for a minute. So, uh, this last week, this is the only time I'm going to say this, it got breezy. We will now refrain from saying that word ever again. I definitely um, had a phrase, like a, a phase, where I was using that word semi-ironically, and then it became like a thing. It's just, I don't know. I, we, 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 we're talking about this because like half the teams here are going to the major. Um, yeah. <laughs> which we'll talk about the major in a minute. Um, I felt like the event horizon. But the the word brazy is passed by the time this event existed as well. Like the word brazy is not used anymore. And then like the yeah, event comes like... out being called brazy part. It's like a real like oh brands are so far behind the times. Like you know a word's dead when a like when a brand is using it to name their Count Strike event. I feel like if uh, it feels like two years ago this would have still been uh out out, out of date. <laughs> like. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so important things for us to go over here. Uh, there are a lot of teams here that are competing in the major, so your teams that are competing in the major big, who went out almost dead last, um, who had a ridiculously bad showing, um, they 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 lost to Zero Zero Nation in pain. Um, Zero Zero Nation isn't going to the major. Um, no, pain are, though. Pain are, though. Pain absolutely are. Uh, they they looked okay. Um, <clears throat> so big are going to the major. The rest of the team, uh, Gamer Legion, also did not finish out particularly high. Uh, they they lost to Astralis, who we'll talk about in a moment, and Ents. Um, rough there. Um, I'm I'm gonna refrain from hitting on all the teams in this tournament, so we do have time to talk about the major. Um. I do want to hit about the the major team. So Ents and Sprout and Pain all ended it in roughly ish the same place. Um, but the big teams I want to talk about here are the teams that ended um, above those. 
So apex and into the breach, I guess actually are on the same level as pain here on the five through eight. Um, apex looked good in the in the group stage, beating Eternal Fire and OG. Uh, they're finishing up their boot camp for the major. Uh, they will be there in four days' time. Uh, OG in the same boat. Uh, they took one loss to Apex, but they will also be at the major and don't look the worst out of any team. Could have. Um, <laughs> into the Breach continued good form into this event, uh, beating Pain and yep. Zero Zero Nation, something that Big could not do. That's a low bar to set for any team, <laughs> even for any UK one. Okay. Um... And Cloud9, who midway through the event had to switch players because, yeah. what was it, Naphany got something stuck in his eye or something? I can't remember, uh, Hobbit tweeted about it, um, but basically Inters agreed to play with them, even though he got cut like a few months ago. Yeah. Which just, sounds noble, but also like you just would, wouldn't you? Like, I'm sure, like. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't hold that much of a grudge, and I'm sure he also was paid for yeah. it. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, he had to leave like halfway through the game or something like that. Yeah. Um. It. Yeah. I don't know. It was a little odd. Um. It's all good. Um. So, other teams that are t <laughs> the important bits to talk about here. So, Cloud Nine won the event. They start looking like they might actually be a decent team again. Uh, it seems that it's every an online weekend... event, though. That's they were always they good online. online. They were always good online. That was never their issue. It'd be more worrying if they didn't. Like, <laughs> you just expect them to win this because it's online. Like this was what this is how they came up in the first place as players. Like they came up playing online tournaments and shitting on good teams. Um, and then it was always a case of like, will they convert it to to LAN? To some extent they did, but not quite to the extent they were dominant online. So when they go back to online, can they still do it? Yes, they can. Um, I don't know if it tells us anything new about Cloud9, other than what we already knew. Which was that they have the ability to win events, they just don't have the bottle sometimes. Yeah. Um, the team that they face, though, in the finals uh, is a little bit of a weird team. On paper, it looks like it's probably the team that he would have been second place, but you think about it for a second, and Astralis kind of seems weird that they're second place in this tournament, considering all of everything that has happened to Astralis recently. Missing out on the major, they've moved Glaive down to Academy, which... Uh, not Glaive. Zipnix oh, down. Not Glaive. Zipnix down to Academy. Uh, Buzz is still figuring out his role in the team, though it's a little bit more set. He's been there for uh, I quite two like months Buzz, now. But what I've seen of Buzz, I think he's pretty decent. I'll say that. Um, but point in the end of the day is with the new re newish revamped Astralis roster, right? Um, is that I I don't know if anyone expected them to be second place in this tournament. I don't know if that was like a guess. But it's difficult though, isn't it? Because they clearly do have players who are capable of winning events because well, I mean, Device and Glaive already have won events together plenty of times, famously. We yeah. know Blame F has ability, even if he his application of it sometimes is... Uh, let's go with Bizarre. Um, That's a sick questionable, but yeah, that works too. Uh, Altex looked very, very good on the talent team. Um, so, stepping up to the main team, he only has to be like a good player. Like He doesn't have to be great, but so far he looks pretty fucking good. Um, and and I, as I've already said, I think Buzz is pretty solid. This team definitely can win events, and definitely can win events like this one. But you also do have to remember that a lot of the major teams are not going to go that hard to win this event, which is probably why yeah. you get Cloud9 and Astralis in the final. It's an online event where half the teams don't want to show too much, don't want to exert themselves too much, and the other half have got everything to prove. I wouldn't put too much stock in it, but it's also quite encouraging if you if you do want Astralis to be good. Your your mileage may vary on that bit. Um, yeah, I mean so, it's not like amazing <laughs> news, but it's it's certainly something to cling on to. Yeah, so nine and OG are your third fourth place finishers. Uh, nine continuing their kind of run of B 
being good in tier two events, which realistically that's what this is, um, and looks to be kind of shaped up for the major, which I'd say is is, is a good spot for them to be on. Um, yeah, absolutely. We also saw a a roster here that nobody has seen in any sort of tier one events for a while, which I want to point out that they were last place, but I still want to point it out, which is the Godsent roster. God, yeah, I completely um, forgot this roster existed until I saw it in the list. And I was like, who on earth is on Godsent? And I checked, it's like, oh, that's why I forgot. Okay, that makes sense. That's it's fine. all the NIP rejects. That's like half of the Swedish scene, though. Like half the Swedish scene yeah. is NIP rejects. Yeah, so it's it's Draken, Rusty, Plopsky, ZTR, and Joel, uh, just ha- just half NIP players. <laughs> yeah, um, like I still I still think Draken was good. I don't care, man. I still think he was good. <laughs> All right, well, you and your delusions can. Uh, we're, we're gonna move on to the he next was, bit with your his ratings like over land for the few years, like for the. When he was on NIP, when he was on Fnatic, I don't think he was great. When he was on NIP, his ratings over the year, like he was comfortably their best rated player. Fine, he's on the AWP, but that doesn't, people don't seem to take that away from other great authors. He was one of the best AWPers in the world. Like he was like, he was like what Searson is or like a Dexter, maybe. Like Searson was. Searson was. <laughs> See, he still is. Like <laughs> because he retired while he was still good, I can still pretend he's good. <laughs> do you know what I mean like he All didn't right. retire I when wanna... he got bad that's a good he point retired. I'll, I'll take that um, I want to move on to part two of today's podcast uh, which is the major uh, big yep. event the biggest Counter-Strike event of the year the biggest, ca- let me the biggest Counter-Strike global offensive event of the year um, no no it's the biggest event of the year the biggest Counter-Strike event yeah yeah because they've said that there, there won't be a CS2 major in this year yeah yeah the CS2 um, major is um, March next year yeah biggest Counter-Strike event of the year um, we have the Challenger stage starting on Monday so the prize for the Challenger stage is 8 spots in the Legend stage so as per usual the major is 16 teams in the Challenger stage um, the top 8 teams move to the Legend stage where the top 8 qualified teams the, the ones that went 3-0 across in the regions uh, those are into the legend stage already so top eight versus those legend teams and then top eight from that goes to playoffs because you know we had to make this slightly complicated with multiple stages i um, like this system i like the you know what? System. i i actually don't mind this i don't mind it it's we could be way worse it could be single elim <laughs> Yeah, it could um, be like the old uh, like yeah. League of Legends formats that were just really yeah. cursed. A- MSI happens to be going on now, and all I could think about is the old MSI uh, single yeah, exactly. Elim brackets. It's just terrible. Exactly, it was so um, cursed. It was narrowed a little bit better, but even then, and you know, whatever. So, like, I love. Sw- I've always loved Swissism. I think Swissism is really cool. It's a really cool way of telling stories because everyone, like, it gives every team a story. I think. Uh-huh. Whereas if you go out first in like a double limb groups, nobody cares. You go out first in Swiss system, like you're an O three team. Like it gives it a title, it gives it a story. I don't know. I kinda like that. I think it's helped by Pickham's. Pickham's also gives people a reason to care about the O three team, which is also <laughs> kind of fun. All right. So speaking of which, uh I'm gonna name all the teams and we're gonna do some we're gonna do a little bit of Pickham's here live because Valve hasn't released theirs, so we have to do it. Well, we're, we're doing it before Valve. Um, all right, so teams that are attending in the challenger stage of the RMR. So G2 uh, with new coach, new, not really new coach, Swanee. Uh, they officially named him the head coach the other day. Yeah, they also which... had another announcement that maybe we'll cover at the end. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll G2 cover that will, G2 will almost certainly go through. I just I would, I will never be convinced that they will win three zero no matter what. No, um. So I I did pickums the other day, um. So I was I was sent basically a, a survey, uh, from somebody about like how teams are going to do. So I ended up having to one of, one of the the major sites that does like the the op matchup odds and stuff. I yeah. I went through and I basically predicted the entire major, so I kind of knew what I was talking about when I was filling out the survey, um. I don't think G2 it's possible for them to win 3-0. Um 
Like I, I just yeah, I can't like see physically, they can't do it. it. Just it's they'll just, lose like a better one to Monty or something. Like they, they just will. Yeah. So if you hold up, I'm trying to find the match. I, okay. uh, the only uh, way they could go three zero in this stage is if they somehow didn't get out into playoffs in the legends. They're like they could go three zero at this stage, but it would mean they were going to go like one three in the next stage. Oh yeah, am I that, like that's, totally that's camping? Hold up. Oh, I just I missed them. So they they play Mongols round one. Yeah, um, they'll be the Mongols. Which is they they should beat Mongols. Um it starts to get complicated in round two, but if Liquid win then they play NIP or OG, it starts to get complicated, but there's they play some decent teams in round two if they win. Um and round three and that that two O game if they win the the second one is is gonna be a rough game. That's, no yeah, what. that could be anyone. And um, um it's weird. I'm not like, sure I, I, I just don't see them enough. going 3-0. Yeah, I just don't see them going 3-0. Yeah. But then it's really hard to pick a single team in this stage that you do think will go 3-0. No, so I'm I'm convinced that fours will go 3-0. I have no no basis behind that. Um, fours are, I'm just convinced. Fours are perennial 3-2. Play, t- like, they, they always get no, in the decider. No, 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 because there's, cause there's, there's a lot of 3-2 teams in here, okay? So I, I want to finish going through the teams, and then we'll, then we'll talk about where where we think they're probably going to end up. Uh, general vibe. So uh, next team here is Phase, which should be a possible three O look. It could also be an O three look. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to think about Phase on any given day now because it it, it seems that I, I everything think I thought about uh, Phase was. I think they've been given a wake up call, and I think they will. Um, I think they'll probably three zero. To be honest, I I I, I think that they're a once good they shout showed for up, possibility. they showed up. Yeah, I think that they're a good shot for for at least having the possibility of three owing, if not actually doing it. Um, I think they'd Liquid, be safer as three O than phase uh, than G two. I agree. Uh, Liquid is a three two team. I can say that with absolute certainty. Uh, Liquid should be a three one <laughs> team without like. No, they they, they might not do, team. but they should be a three one team. Yeah, yeah, they will go three and two, but they should be a three and one team. Okay, yeah, Just, that's how this works. Um, <laughs> Ents is gonna also it Ents will either be like three one or two three. Ents could easily three zero. Um, They're a very good team, but they but, they are also prone to like these weird question mark but they won every best of three in the rmr they they were just they went through three two because they lost two best of ones against underdogs like 16 13 16 14 they're still a good team they beat cloud nine to qualify like i and again should be a three one team they might be a three zero yeah. team depending on matchups we'll see how it ends up uh mouse sports i don't even know what to think Upload. about mouse sports right now <laughs> Absolutely, they, they could. An idea. They could three zero. They could also be o three. I wouldn't be surprised with either. I would most certainly be surprised with either. No. They are somewhere in the middle. They're like the upper end of the the middle. They should they should be a three two team. And they might not be. They might be a two three team. <laughs> like I I feel like in at least seventy percent of scenarios. Mouse play fours in a two-two game. <laughs> in at least seventy percent. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've run the numbers in my head, and in at least seventy percent of the scenarios, mouse fours is a two-two this is, game. This is like fit. This is like Family Feud, and you got the board up. Seventy-seven yeah. percent of participants say mouse faces <laughs> fours in a three-two game. Like, does it not just sound right to you? Mouse fours. Oh no, is it a does. Two-two game? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I, like I think Forge is going to 3-0, but, like, <laughs> if that wasn't the case... You still think they're going to have yeah, to play a 2 game. Good. They're going to bring them back. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're already they're, qualified. So, yep, they're, they've already qualified, but uh, they they thought it was too much of a fluke, so they had to go and play in their rightful place, the 3-2 game. Yeah. Um, uh, OG, I still don't know what to think about this OG lineup because it seems like it's a stopgap lineup. Because of the addition of Nico in, but then I I also just think it's probably where they're 
heading and where they're kind of choosing to go. And I, uh, OG tends I to be pretty good against underdogs because Neo Frag actually just like shits on bad players or not great players. Um, however, again, it's impossible to have any faith in OG. They're very up and down because of their style. Um, and because their players are quite young, like they're still inconsistent. I think they'll. No, I don't think they'll get out, but I think they'll be very, very close. All right, next, uh, next team on the list is Ninjas in Pajamas, who I'm convinced will be one three. Um, I just don't. I don't trust this team. They're impossible to predict. I've never trusted this team. They're impossible to predict. Um, but like you look at they, they should be pretty. They should at least be in a two-two game, and then from there, who knows? Um, but they they often do well in Swiss systems because they tend to do well in the best of ones, and I can't really quantify that with any sort of logic, but it just feels like that's true. It might not be, but it the feels problem, like it's true. The problem is their openers against Mouse. Who like I just think are a better team than Nip, and so I think Nip's Mouse gonna... being better than a team has never mattered in the history of the game. Whether or not <laughs> Mouse are a better I... team has never made any difference. I think Mouse will win against Nip, and the problem is, is that Nip's gonna get stuck in the like they'll face the un the the guy that shouldn't have been in the round two in the in the O one matches. Whoever's gonna be that like upset candidate. Right, like if Mongols win over G two or something, they're gonna end up facing G two for some ungodly reason, so, um, and they're gonna get pounded into the ground there. And then it's gonna be O two match, and I, you, what what happens when Nips up against the wall? They do nothing. Um, no, no, no. Sometimes no, no, no. They don't do nothing up against the wall. Like they only do nothing when they're up against the wall if they're expected to do well in the first place. But they're not expected to do well here. So they'll get to like 0-2 and they'll go through 3-2 or something. Like that you can't predict an IP. But yeah, I see. That's you, the all TLDR. you can say is what you, they should we don't know. do. Yeah, all you can say is what they should do. We don't do. know what's gonna happen. Should at least be in the two two game. Like they're a decent enough team. They have pieces that aren't terrible. They should be okay. But the major is <laughs> Unforgiving. She's an unforgiving mistress, is the major. <laughs> uh, next on the list is Fords, who I've already talked plenty about. I'm convinced we'll go 3 0. Uh, a lot of the time, I would really heavily back Fours. I think this is actually a really tough group to predict. There's a lot of teams who you look at and think, oh, yeah, like they could easily make it. Like, Monty. Apex, Fours, NIP, OG, Complexity. Realistically, you can pick like two of those. Yeah. Like, that's not easy to predict. Like, any of those could go through. I don't think it'll be Complexity, but it could quite easily be. I don't think it'll be Apex, but it like, it could be, and it wouldn't be ridiculous. Game Legion as well are in this group. Like, yeah, no, the, a lot of the, the problem is, is I, I've, got, I've got four teams that I'm like fairly certain aren't going through. And after that, I could see anyone making it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, this group is really, really tough to predict. And like, I, I would really be backing fours most of the time. And they do seem to have a knack of getting out of these sort of groups. But also, if they go out 2-3, you're probably not surprised. Or, or even if they go out 1-3, you're probably like... No. Yeah. But, but like... But I'm like seriously, I would not be surprised three out. That this is this is the thing, is it's just this group is so hard, it's gonna be whatever. Fours I feel are a very steady steady amount of good. I don't I don't think that yeah. they are that they fluctuate in huge amounts. So it's no, they will I they agree. will play at the same level regardless of whoever they're playing against. And I think if that some of the teams above them have bad days, I think if some teams below them have good days, I think they will be the same fours. Yeah, and that's kind of what worries me because NIP and OG and Gamer Legion can all have moments and they can all, like, they can all beat fours quite easily. If the fates allow. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, but the it's problem is, like, G2 is also going to have moments, but in the other way. Well, quite, <laughs> and, yeah. 
<laughs> so I mean, that's the thing. It's it's really hard to suggest fours will or won't go through because they're almost too consistent to predict because it relies on NIP and like <laughs> who the fuck knows what NIP is. But that's the thing about this group. Like it is really difficult to predict who's going to do well here outside of Phase G two Liquid and somebody else that's who's it. good. No. Uh, me, you could put Ents there, but I'm not willing to put Ents there yet. I would put Ents there. I think Ents are a cut yeah. above NIP OG fours. Mouse, look at Nerds, man. He's frying. I know. Mouse, but... Mouse are like the top end of NIP OG. Yeah, Ents are the <laughs> bottom end of Phase G two. All right, let's get to the uh, the rest of the teams in this group. So Pain, Pain is one of my teams that I don't see in any way, shape, or form getting through. They've, they've just been pretty good domestically recently. Um, they've been hitting some form, but yeah, this but... is a step up. This is a a tough step yeah. up, and I I just don't think Nick is and Hard's are good enough at this level. Is my issue with pain? Yep, Th- three of their players are good enough to play at this level. I'm not sure the other two are. Yep, I I I agree. I'm a thousand percent. I I the problem is like I don't see a world where they do it it's not that I don't think that they're good enough or they don't have players that are good enough I just don't see a world in where they're consistent enough to win two best of ones and a best of three yeah that's probably that's fair. what they have to do um I don't think they'll be an 3 team I think they'll take a map off someone they may take a best of they, like they, they'll take stuff something off of someone right but the problem is not them taking something off of someone I think it's them getting a bunch together um, okay, so next next step on the list is complexity. Uh, this team requires some some talking about. Um, I don't convinced. think they'll make it through. Yeah, I just don't think they'll make I, it through. This this feels like the definition of a two three team to me. I think it might be worse than that. I think they might be a one three or an o three. I, I they were so ugh. bad in Melbourne. Like they they were really not good in Melbourne and. I know there's jet lag. I know it's before the major and they're probably not that asked, but man, like they looked worse than Greyhound in Melbourne. Again, hometown advantage, whatever. But they looked worse yeah, than but Greyhound. Still. It's I feel like I, I, I just I just don't so... expect them to do anything. I feel like they're so inconsistent that there's there, there, there has definitely been times in which we have seen like great form from them, and it's been fantastic, and they've looked good. There was the one event not where they looked good, times. and Holzerk was winning like fifteen one vxs, yeah. and they didn't even make it out of groups <sighs> then. I, we'll see. I'm, I, I don't expect this team to get through. I just hope this team doesn't embarrass themselves. But I think that there is a serious question that you need to start asking about the future of this team if they don't get through. The problem oh, is, yeah, like, what are you going to do next if, the, yeah, if that's they the don't issue. get through it? That's the issue. Like, you can look at complexity and you can look at the pieces they've got and how they've performed and you can say, okay, what can we improve? And it's quite quick that you get stuck there. Like, who do you swap on this complexity team? Yo, I've heard there's this really good opera in NA. His name is Junior. Uh, I thought that he was, he was... He's been pretty good before. Is Junior better Fuck than Holzerk? No. Like, uh, that's the thing. The problem, the problem, if you're going like to upgrade from Holzerk, like... you need a superstar. And if you're going to upgrade from, I don't know, JT, you need an in-game leader who's never going to go to complexity. Yeah. I mean, like, you're, JT's like the best North American IGL that's left. Um, at, he's what South else? African. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, like, I don't know. And and the the biggest problem, and I and this is actually a problem, is that this team does need to stay North America based. Um, it yep. needs to be an NA team because of the way that it, complexity themselves is structured, based in Texas, right? They are owned, owned by, the, by Dallas the Dallas Cowboys. Cowboys. Yeah, it has to be like you have to have North America here. There's no shot you don't like. I I know. Um. Messioso has spoken in the past about like yeah. they made a conscious decision to stay in North America. It made sense for their brand. It made sense for their sponsors, and it made they thought it made sense um, in terms of the team they could build. I think they. I don't think they'll be going away from being a North American team, which is why I think 
the most realistic change would be minus JT, and then you find another like in-game leader from somewhere because then you are still majority North American. The only problem is I actually think JT is quite good, uh, but yep. you're not swapping Grim or Floppy. You're probably not swapping yep, and- Fang. Fang and Hauser, like, what's your upgrade on Hauser? Like, Hauser's been fine. I don't know. I have no. Draken. All right, next on the list is uh, the boys from Monty, <laughs> uh, the team that absolutely clapped in the qualifiers. Um, here now, some die young yeah, board, Boros 2K, Dem- fry, Q, Boros and Kraz. Now, the I this team is all over the place, man. I don't even know what to think about them. <laughs> It's it's the Baros show. Like he was scouted by Endpoint, which is usually a good sign that somebody's a good player because everyone they sign to play that role is really good, and they have their like fucking money ball system. If they think a player is good, I tend to think they're pretty good. Not because, and you know, I just back that. I just think they're probably right. Uh, it's the same as if Brentford try and sign one of your players in football. Like you probably they're probably better than you're giving them credit for. Or Brighton, um, and like you, you've seen Nerts and Flames. Boros was pretty good on Endpoint, left under like really like inconspicuous circumstances, and anyone who'd watched him was like, "Oh yeah, yeah." Like somebody like Mouse should pick him up. Somehow he's ended up on Monty, and he looks way too good <laughs> to be playing on the team he's on. He was ridiculous in the RMR, like. He 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 kind of looks like what Hunter looked like on Crazy. In that he just ah, seemed the... like he was way too good for the team he was on. And it was only a matter of time before he moved up. Maybe there's some sort of behind the scenes thing with him and that's the reason he's on Monty. But fucking hell. If he plays anything like he did at the RMR, Monty will get through. I, and I mean that yeah. because... There isn't a genuinely there isn't a player on NIP or OG who can live with Boros if he plays like that. Flames. And that's just what that's if, all they've got to be flames. Better. Yeah. Flames, um, maybe. Boros looks better than Flames yeah. to me. But it's been a while since we've seen Flames in an actual role where he can carry from. Uh, actually if Dexter goes off, I can I can see that being a better bet than Boros. Yeah, okay. Different yeah, role, yeah. But... Dude, there's a couple of players, but there is there's gotta be some stars online in there. Uh, next team on the list is Mongols, who have made a roster change ahead of this. Um, yeah, Hasteka. Hasteka is in for uh, who the fuck is this? Um, it was was it not score? Uh, it was score, but before score, it was someone else. Was that uh, Cabal? Yeah. So Cabal yeah. is Basically, still on the bench. They've changed this fifth man spot. Um, well, no, I think Bartek I, is still in for Cabal, right? Yeah, Bartek is still in. Yeah, um, he's like the fifth man. Score was meant to be like one of their better riflers, and a lot of the people who watch them consistently domestically think Score is pretty good. If you go back and listen to the interview we did with uh, Yumi with and um, Tea Time and, and Tea Time, they both spoke very highly of Score and were pretty shocked to see him leave. Um, Hasteka, I, I've not seen much of him, but he does seem like he's more passive than score was maybe that's a maybe that's what they wanted and they wanted to change the roles a little bit i don't think they can pull off the magic they pulled off last time not because of the roster change i think people will put it down to the roster change but i think more because i think they were just a bit lucky last time and i i hate to say it like that but they did win a lot of clutches and it's usually a sign that you know, if a lot of your rounds are going down to 1v2s, you're not going to win 1v2s like 70% of the time in every game. Like, it's not going to happen. Unless you're like 2019 Zipnix. Even, like, even Zip. he is like massive. And even then, he was only winning like 50%. Like I bet it was nowhere near 50%. Yeah. Just people remember the big ones. Someone, someone tweet at me with that stat, please. Thank you. Uh, HOTV only show one 1v2s. So it's really difficult to actually go back and look. I've, I've tried this before. Yeah. That's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Someone else do the work. Yeah, but I don't think you can. I, I don't think it's actually possible. <laughs> no, they download every demo of Astralis ever. <laughs> hmm, perhaps not. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe not. Um, all right, next on the, the list, the, one of the other Asian RMR teams, actually the only other Asian RMR team, uh, Greyhound. I, they're, they're Greyhound. They'll, Greyhound they, have a they'll, consistent they'll problem. Greyhound things. They, they have a consistent problem they're where... They're Australian. Sort of. They will look good early on in a game, and then they'll transition it relatively well, and then they will just fall apart at the end. And they do this even against, like, even if they're playing against a team that they can beat and they're in a position to beat, they just constantly don't close out games. And I don't know why that is. Because they, they've shown that they can be an upset team to good teams, except they just don't get it over the line. What I will say is in Melbourne, Vexite, who's the newest player to this roster, looked like a fucking demon. Like, that guy can play, and uh, we haven't seen that internationally yet. Or we hadn't seen it internationally. Uh, you know, that was in Australia, but there were international teams. That guy can be an X factor for this team. If they are going to win games, it's probably going to be off the back of Vexite. Um, and I'll also say, um, in the best of ones, if they can somehow get it to Inferno, they can beat anyone in this group. They, like their inferno is legit. I I'm not convinced they'll nope. beat anyone on any other map. If they get inferno, they'll like in in the best of threes as well. They'll probably get inferno. They'll probably win it as long as they don't play against Ents because Ents perma about inferno. Um, they'll probably win inferno. I just don't back them on any other map. All right. Uh, next on the list is a team that we we chatted about quickly. Gamer Legion. Uh, could absolutely go through. Uh, did it last major. Um. Yeah, the, uh, uh, Game of Legion are good, man. They're, they're scary. If Acor is playing as well as he did in the RMR, this team has a lot that they can do. Like, if, if he's not... Forget that Acor is actually have good. A... Yeah. Like, I, I know he had that... Yeah, after Mad Lions, he had that dodgy period on Mouse under Dexter where it didn't quite fit. Whatever. We've seen Torsi also not been that good on this team. Like, we're... Dexter's never really had a good AWPer, and he's never really had an aggressive AWPer do well. Aiko's actually pretty good. Like he, he, Remember how good he was on Mad Lions? He looks like that player again. Like People forget he's actually good. With him and, and Suhi as well, who was, who was fragging out, Like they can beat good teams. I think it's absolutely possible these guys get through. Um, they did it last time. I would not be surprised to see them do it again. Uh, the uh yeah, the, right. the newcomers, I put hard quotes around it, of Apex, um, are are our next next team here. Um, I don't know it's what to think about them. Well, Jail's ridiculous. I, 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 like, do, is there more that we need to say about this team? Yeah, like I, I don't insane. really know much about him other than I was told he was really good, and then I watched him, and he was really good. And I was like, kind of like skeptical, but I think that's because I thought he was JR for a bit, and that kind of threw me. <laughs> uh, no, he he's like I mean, he's, he's legit good. I mean, the thing is, is like Stiko and Jacob will just be good role players. They're not going to be stars. They'll just they'll be they'll be good. They'll be consistent. Knox a pretty good opper. I wouldn't say he's the best in the group at all, but he's certainly not the worst. I really hope so... he goes like crazy against NIP though. Imagine I like hope oh, any imagine... X N I P player. Right. So the two two games need to be Mouse versus Fours, because that's just gonna happen. NIP versus Apex. That we need. Like Nork versus NIP. For the like That would be great. It'd be so much fun. I'm in. I'm in for it, man. I'm I mean, in for like, it. This is why uh, I love Swiss to some like we get stories like that, it's fucking great. <laughs> So uh, yeah, I can see Apex getting through. Uh, it's going to be off the back of JL. Um, that's their win condition. I it's think really hard to predict them to go through. I I don't. Okay, let me rephrase that. I don't think that they will get through. I think that they have a chance. They're not in my immediate. You're not getting through group. Um, yeah, I think there's teams. probably like two teams who I would say have no chance of getting through. And even then, it's like I am. You just never. I know. have four. I have four teams that I'm like it's under a ten percent. Greyhound and that's my Mongols. 
Mine are Greyhound Mongols Fluxo Pain. Fluxo are very unlikely, yeah. I, I think Pain are better than that. I Pain is at the top of that list, and it's literally just... I. Two of those I players think... are like, if you plucked a two normal NA silver threes and said, go for it. <clears throat> I don't and think that's giving them a little bit of a disservice, but not. Pain and complexity are about as good as each other. And I feel like if you have pain in there, you should probably have complexity in there as well. Which is why I, I think probably both rate... are really better. But I need to just I need to ride the the NA train so yeah four teams you can class not NA ah oh, shit that's English. right they're in or something I don't know no they're in uh, do they are they in Mexico I don't know where the fuck they are I um, think they're probably ba they're based in NA no I think they're based in Mexico oh okay I know ATK NA. are based in Mexico ATK is based everywhere um. <laughs> They're just based. <laughs> All right, so last last team here is Fluxo. Um, this team, Phelps I just I don't have rise a up. huge. It, it's it's Phelps. It, it's Phelps and X M M I B R and just like I I'd I love have no faith in this team. I would love Fluxo to do well because I do love Phelps. He's one of my favorites, but yeah, I think this team it might just... be a bit stinky. I already want to rep them for <laughs> you know. Yeah, hipster value, but I think they might just be bad, unfortunately. Yeah, I just, I just don't think that they're good. <laughs> like, I have no, I have no like big issues with this team other than just like I don't think that they're good. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of it, right? Like when you're looking at upset teams, you're looking generally for teams with a really high ceiling. So you're looking at individuals. Yeah, it's why Monty are a good upset team because they just have an individual who you know can take over the game. Okay, I didn't realize Luke. Are they Luke Halsey as well? Luke Halsey's a player. Luke Halsey's really good. You know, the more I look at this team, the more I'm on board. But I do worry that Woody is just not good. <laughs> He's just so not bad. good as a as an author, man. Like you can't, uh, you can't see him being no, better he, than. Like, I know he doesn't necessarily need to be, but you can't see him holding his own against Head Trick or against fucking Dexter or against Brokey. I guess yeah, holes just, there. Like you just can't see him. You can go down these teams. You just don't see him out warping or even matching any of these. It just doesn't like flux out. But Luke Alzi's good. Doesn't hit for me. Oh, um, hello. We're good. We're 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 alive. We're alive. All right. Um, th I think that's gonna that's gonna wrap up. So actually, let's let's do let's do a quick who we think is gonna get through. So top eight get through. Uh, we're, oh, we're, we're well set G2 phase liquid and to get through. Yeah. Yeah. So that's war. That's half our half our allotment right there. And I'm willing, I'm putting Monty in. NIP mouse. Okay. Gamer Legion. Fours. No, no, no fours and mouse can't both go through because they're playing each other in a two-two game. Do I really trust Monty that much? I'm not sure I do. I feel like they're they're like too perfect a, a team to like <laughs> actually go through. Do you know what I mean? Like they're they're too obvious and an underdog. They always just yeah. don't do as well as you imagine. Um. Pain. Let's go pain. pain. I like pain. You're putting pain. <laughs> yeah. Minor G2 phase liquid ants. Uh mouse fours Monty Game Religion. No NIP, yeah. no OG. I think um, NIP will go through. Uh, OG I don't know. I I I always don't say OG will go through, and they always just about sneak in. But I like, I can't in good faith put OG through because I think Gamer Legion are better. I I don't know. I don't know how to I shit. it really is there's like ten or twelve teams that can make it through. Alright, yep. we got one more one more one more quick story at the end uh that we 
want to touch on. I don't plan on making a big deal out of this, but um, G2, uh, Elliot referred to uh, the fact that we were going to talk about something towards the end of the pod today. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be this. Uh, G2 t- went out and made a gambling ad for CSGORoll.com, I believe it is, uh, which yes. normally, who gives a fuck? Um, well, the problem... So- Still don't really give a fuck, but people do. And I'm not 100% sure why people care as much as they do. Like, okay. Betting sponsorships are bad. Hot take, I know. Crazy. Betting sponsorships are not, like... Betting ruins as many lives as anything else you can imagine that can ever be advertised uh, on television in public. Like, betting is fucking terrible. I don't care if people disagree. This is my opinion. I, I think betting is terrible, and therefore I think betting sponsorships are terrible. The problem is, in esports, you either have betting sponsorship money, or you have no fucking money whatsoever, or you're ESL. They're, those are like the three options. Like, you're Saudi money, betting sponsors- money, or no money. Yeah, like pretty like or fucking riots, ten cent money. Like yeah. It's very difficult to get sponsorships in esports that aren't betting related that will pay a lot of money. It's why you'll see fucking 1x bet, GG bet. Um, there's all sorts, there's loads of them. I'm not going to name any more because A, I can't really I think th- of any, and B, it seems like a bad idea. Um, I think a, one a, of like, the few teams that doesn't actually have a betting sponsorship is Liquid, but that's neither yeah. here nor there. I think it's like Liquid there, there's very few teams Honda. that. Honda. Yeah, a how Honda would, how they have well, a Honda spot? Oh, too. sorry, we we forgot about crypto money. A lot of teams have crypto money too. I, if you want to separate crypto and betting, you go right ahead. I think they're the same thing. <laughs> Neither here nor there. We'll continue. Uh, so uh, betting bad. Yeah. Hot take. <laughs> yeah. So people are then taking issue with the fact that it's monocy in the advert, which. I get it. He looks like he's under 18, but he is 18. He turned 18 the other day. It's like, oh, they they posted it like one day after he went 18. That doesn't fucking matter. If he can bet, and you're okay with the betting sponsorship bit, his age doesn't fucking matter. Like, it doesn't matter if he's 18 or 40. That's not the issue. That the People are like, oh, he must have recorded it when he was 17. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, that just does not make a fucking difference. Like, it doesn't make any difference. And so, oh, perceptions matter. Yeah, your perception that he looks underage is not not important to the legality or even the morality of the situation. Nobody should be taking betting sponsorship, but unfortunately, it's esports, and that's just the way you make money in esports. Like, if if consumers are not willing to to watch esports, which we had a discussion with this about launders, and it's probably not ever going to work. You're going to have to take some dirty money somewhere. Unfortunately. It comes down to whether you prefer Saudi money, betting money, or crypto money. Yeah, then everyone takes them all. Um, yeah, that that that's our bit on on that. I, yeah, honestly, I I, I couldn't give a fuck, but it seemed that Twitter gave a fuck yesterday. So here Twitter we are. Always gives a fuck. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good point. Um. All right. So. On that note, uh, we are going to end for this week. We will be back again next week with our continued major coverage. We'll be, what, three days into the event when we record next week. So we'll have a good idea. I think we'll have 03 and 30 teams at that point, which will be nice. And then I'll be traveling um, for us on the Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, these next couple weeks are going to be a little, uh, a, little, a little iffy in terms of podcast time. So we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll make sure to get podcasts out to you folks Uh it may not be exactly on Thursday on the exact same day, but we will make sure to get podcasts out. Uh, we will be taking a break post the major. Um, maybe not immediately after the major, because there's like weird tournaments that happen right after the major. But whenever player break is, we will be taking a normal break. Um, but until that point, uh, we'll see you again next week. You can follow us at, follow, find us on Twitter at, at ReadTLDR, at AZAsk, and at LoganRapHap. We'll be back next week. Goodbye, everyone.